In this video, we got one of the best offensive schemes in Madden 25 right now. It's going to help you get downfield and score more touchdowns out of the Gun Bunch tight end, specifically out of the Vikings. Like, let's just go through this formation real quick. Um, it has a lot of routes that you can't do anymore unless you have Hot Route Master. Like, right off rip, one of the first plays is the Cheat H out. It has the Zig route and the Texas route built in. You got the Cheat tight end uh, Hitch HB Seam that's going to have a wheel route from the tight end and slightly by the running back. Or not the tight end, I'm sorry. It's actually a wide receiver motion in over and also the running back. And then you also have that Cheat tight end Hitch and Go. Um, and then you have the OG plays like the Triple Out, the RPO Alert Bubble um you have the og pa boot over the x spot and then you have that new pa verticals that's in ncaa 24 that actually bombs a lot of defenses as well um if that's one of my go-to plays right there the whips so let's go ahead and jump into my four main uh plays that we're going to be audible in through so let's jump into the audibles it's going to be the pa boot over the cheat h out the whips and the cheat tight end hitch hb seams this is probably my favorite play out of the whole formation and you'll see why we get into the practice field but let's go ahead and jump into the practice field real quick i just want to say this i do normally come out in the rpo alert if i see a good look for the run i take the run if not i audible to one of the other plays um but yeah i just wanted to throw that out there but let's jump to the practice field and show you how we set these plays up all right a couple things about this scheme which is a good thing you can run all of these plays off of the same hash and make everything look the same some of these plays it doesn't matter which hash you're on but let's just keep everything looking the same so if you're on the left hash have your bunch to the left side if you're on the right hash have your bunch to the right side so the first play we're going to start off with is going to be the play whips this is one of the best quick snap plays you can run it as is and get good results your first read is going to be your running back if you know anything about matter 25 off of day one the flats are terrible doesn't matter if you put hard flats doesn't matter if you put your flats at zero flats are broken in this game so you can easily hit the running back but you also have both whip routes in the middle of the field um and i've been running into a lot of people running um like cover three match where they have one guy that they're using in the middle of the field and they're sending five uh this play is perfect for those type of offenses again you can just quick snap this play and you can throw to either one of the whip routes right here um and get really good results this is against a basic cover three again i know your opponent can make adjustments the user can pick up um but your first read will be the running back but let's go ahead and show you how i like to run it motion over the outside wide receiver stem him down twice so it'll look like this and then streak y this is to get more yards you can still hit the running back real quick or one of the whip routes but this is to hit the post route he's going to get wide open in the middle of the field against all coverages i would probably recommend leading that a little bit more towards them um but that's my go-to setup again you can run this as a default or you can even just go ahead and put um y on a post like this and then put x on a streak and i think he could still get open in the middle of the field like somewhere around here yeah so you can still run it like that if you don't want to motion over but i'm going to show you why i do want to motion over the wide receiver because we like to keep things looking the same so let's go ahead and just jump into that now so let's say they're giving you a good look for a money play you know they're not sending a lot of pressure at you so we're going to motion this guy over we're going to put him on a comeback route streak the tight end put y on a post route leave the whip by b because it's one of the best play one of the best routes in the game double team where you need to either block the running back or you can keep them on the route he's on you can kind of do whatever you want with them you could put them on a little check down hitch but the go-to is going to be the post route here um by the wide wide receiver if we have time um this will bomb all zone coverages for a nice one play touchdown so that's why i do like to motion over that post route with the whips play because then he doesn't know if i'm going to do the post route to the inside or hit him with the money play um towards the outside so that's going to be that play. Let's jump into a couple of other plays. All right, the next play I want to talk about is going to be the play cheat tight end hitch. This is another quick snap play where you don't have to make any adjustments and get really good results. What makes this play work so well is the running back delays his route. He doesn't take off right away. So he will always get open for like a three to five yards, sometimes more if you have some stick work. So let me just show you what this looks like. You can hit him off rip and not have to worry about any adjustments again because he just takes his time to get out the backfield and the vert hook in the middle has to respect the hitch the flat has to respect the motion in wide receiver and then the running back will get wide open so again just a nice little quick snap play just like the whips play but the way i like to run this is to put the tight end on a hitch we're going to go ahead and put the y wide receiver on a streak and then x on an in route this is going to be a good check down play where you have two really good check downs with X and RB. The go-to downfield is the tight end on the post route. I even go as far as stem routing the post route up a little bit more so I can create separation between X and the post route. Um, uh, the go-to is definitely the post route. If you get separation from that, uh, he should have just caught that. But 
um basically you're making that vert hook choose between the post route and the 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 in route by x and again you always have the running back out of the backfield uh let me go ahead okay there we go now we got it right so if that vert hook is following the the post route then that means you're gonna have x in the, the middle of the field right here every single time you just have to wait for him to pass that other uh vert hook now it also again depends about their user who are the user and most likely it's going to be one of those those two guys right there so that's just going to be something you have to watch but again regardless if they're watching the post route or if they're watching the in route now the reason i choose an in route instead of a drag route because i want it i don't want it to get across the field too quick you can put the drag route it, it's up to you if you like the drag route and how fast the drag route gets there by all means you know you can do the drag route or the in route but at the end of the day you still have the running back coming out the backfield and when we do that setup you see how wide open the running back gets so a really good check down play again the flats are terrible in this game but that's going to be the setup for this play let's jump into the next all right, the next play I want to talk about is going to be the play cheat H out. This is going to be another go-to play that you can just go ahead and quick snap. Again, because the running back does delay his Texas route. So because he does that, the uh, the zones have to respect the other routes going out. And you can see we get pretty open in the middle of the field right here. Uh, but that's not how we run the play. Let me go ahead and show you how we set this up. I really like this play because we have the Texas route available. But we're going to show you the best corner streak flat concept in the game right now. Um, I know the way you probably normally do it. It doesn't work that well. So let me show you how to get this done. Um, what you're going to do is put your outside wide receiver X on a corner route. Put Y, your middle wide receiver, on a streak. B, on a flat. This is the best corner streak flat concept in the game right now. And I'll explain why. It's really because the way the vert hooks play in this game. The vert hook, the guy with the fire over his head on the left side, that's a vert hook. But if you put the inside guy B on the corner route and you try to streak X, for some reason, they will follow the corner a lot, a lot longer than you would want them to. And that's what will make you make mistakes. So if you do it like this, the corner route gets open a lot quicker. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then from there, what you're going to do is motion over the running back. Now, if you have... A tight end apprentice or hot route master put the tight end on a trail route this route combo right here is insane so first we're going to just show you you can throw it to the corner route this is how you want to run your corner streak flat concept hit it to the sideline read the flat if he's shallow throw it to your corner if he's deep throw it to your flat so that's going to be that but i do want to show you all this um so if you do have tight end apprentice or you have hot route master which i know we're trying to stay away from hot route master but this combo right here between RB and A is deadly. The, the, the vert hook is going to have to pick and choose. Who am I going to guard? Like, that is deadly right there. So that is definitely a go-to. Um, but if you don't have Hot Round Master, let's go ahead and show you how we're going to set this up. So same thing with the trio on the left and then motion over the running back. Put the tight end on a post route. Everybody can do the post route and then stem it up once. Same thing, the, the vert hook is going to have to choose between the post route and the Texas route. If they try to bite on the Texas route, look for the post route. Um, if they're like unsure, you're going to just be able to hit them like that for a little quick gain. Uh, if you have some stick work, you could possibly uh, get a few more yards. But there's just a ton of, there's tons of things you can do with this specific formation and uh, this play right here because the, the the whip route and the Texas route. And then let's go ahead and talk about the last play, which is going to be the PA boot over. This is my go-to. I just need three yards. Um, but you can also set it up to get more yards if you need to. So what I like to do with this play is put B on a drag, your tight end on a drag, and then the running back on a, uh, a flat. No, I'm sorry, not B. Wait, did I put Y on it? Yeah, I, actually, I messed that up. I put Y on a drag. Don't put Y on a drag. Leave Y on the route that he's on. Let's go ahead and audible back out. Uh, okay, there you go. So put B on a drag, put A on a drag, your tight end, and then your running back on a... Um, a flat route now if you want to go a little bit further with this this is just a check down setup so you can hit the running back off rip if their flats are um playing pretty deep you hit the running back but it's this is mo uh more for the drag routes you're going to hit one of the drag routes but we can also set this play up to get more yards downfield so what you can do is go ahead and drag b motion over x put your running back on an in route and streak the tight end so you can just do something like this if you want to and we're basically clearing out for y uh, to clear out some zones which he should get open right about there and you can get some good yardage um i didn't even lead that ball at all i could have probably let that down a little bit and got a rat catch but that's going to be for this little scheme again come out in the rpo if they're giving you a good look like this um you see these two guys how far apart they are if you ever see that run the rpo um but that's going to be it for this scheme y'all definitely give this a try it has been helping me i i started off 
Madden 25 struggling. I'm, I've been trying to find a scheme. I'm still trying to look for a really good defense. We're definitely working on that. But give this a try and let me know how it's working out for y'all.